Hey guys, Marshall One here and I hope you are doing great. I think it's the right time now to show you my list of top 5 upcoming first person shooters in 2018 that I really wanna try and I'm excited to play. We all know that 2018 is the year of best upcoming first person shooter games and I know many of them are coming at the end of this year but I picked up 5 which are in my opinion worth to try and definitely I'll be the one who's gonna play them. I'm gonna arrange them from least excited to most excited but it doesn't mean that some of these games are less worth than another just because I place them different on my list. At the end have in mind that this is only my opinion and I know that some of you guys may not agree with me so feel free to post down in comment section games that you will like or you are waiting to play. Number 5 on my list we have Hell Let Loose. This is high realistic World War II first person shooter. Allow me to say that this game is for people who like tactical and combat shooters. It's not a fast game and mostly you're gonna spend time with your squad talking, playing together, capturing points and working together in order to win. It's not all about killing. This game is more about capturing and cooperating with your team players. It's something similar to squad game just set in World War II. Graphics and animation look really neat and I believe this game is gonna be a hit. It supports 100 players per game, 50 players per team. It has various amount of vehicles and historical accurate weapons. Game is built on Unreal Engine 4 and it's gonna be available on the Steam at the end of this year. Moving on number 4 we have Ready or Not, which is brand new first person tactical shooter developed by Void Interactive. If you have been playing Rainbow Six Siege, you may come to conclusion that these two games are similar, but if you look deeper, you will be wrong. This game offers players big movement on the map, use of weapons, shooting and damage. Game started with develop in 2016 and it's built on Unreal Engine 4, so it's giving a potential to look very good. Some of the game features that we already know are various lean options and it sounds like developers really want you to play with your keyboard and not only have Q&A buttons to lean left and right, here you're gonna be able to have different angles for leaning and different combinations, depends of combat situation and your position. Also they did reveal that players will have option to use their mouse wheel in order to control character speed from really slowly walking to sprinting. Another cool feature that it's added in game is when you get shot it will extremely reduce your movement speed or if you get shot in arm it will reduce your accuracy. In Red or Not you're gonna be able to experience gore feature which many other games are trying to avoid but these developers want you to fill this game as much as possible and give you possible options to decide how you wanna play it. Have in mind that this game won't be for everyone and many players may find it disturbing. However, once it comes out and we get some more gameplay footage, we'll be able to judge it or decide how different this game is in compared to Rainbow Six Siege. Game number 3 on the list is Insurgency Sandstorm, a game that I'm quite excited to try because I've been playing previous version of this game and I have to say that it was the game that I really like to play. At the start let me remind you that these developers move from Source Engine to Unreal 4 Engine and it looks pretty damn cool. Game will be updated version of Insurgency so prepare to feel combat system even better. It's confirmed that HUD will be simplified, no crosshair, realistic weapons and attachments, brand new maps and combat environments, different game modes and so much more. Developers has announced that they will be giving 10% discount for players who already got Insurgency and 10% more for players who pre-ordered this game. At the end, 20% off for the brand new game that will cost something like $30 on Steam is really a lot and I think these guys are doing awesome job by supporting community. It's coming in September this year for PC and later in 2019 it will be coming out for PS4 players.
Number 2 on my list is Battlefield 5. Ok, now I know that many of you guys will be disappointed because I placed Battlefield 5 here, but all these years I've been waiting to see really World War 2 game made by DICE and somehow deep inside my heart I knew after Battlefield 1 we will have Battlefield World War 2. It's something almost like we had Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. I'm putting so much hype into this game and I believe this is gonna be the game that will change everything. It's not gonna be like previous Battlefield games because this time developers are trying something new and they will put gameplay on totally new level. Premium pass is removed and they will implement microtransactions in game. You're gonna be able to pay for the cosmetic items in game that you want and get them. It will keep all players on one place and no more separating them on the maps. For the trailer, I could notice that players will have to interact with the map, building trenches and fortification, searching for ammo and med bags, spotting and finding enemies on the map and sending back these informations to your friendly players. If I'm not wrong, totally new feature will be added and it's the option to pick up the nade from the ground and throw it back to your enemies. We never had this option before, so I'm really hyped to see this brand new feature in the game. It's still early to judge by the trailer and we will have to wait a little bit longer to see actual gameplay, but I do really believe that it's gonna be great game. As always DICE prepared it for the October of 2018, so be patient a little bit more before you push yourself into the battlefield. And on the number one we have something different, something that came out of nowhere and this is something I really always wanted to see. Game has unique name and it's called World War 3. It's gonna be a modern first person combat shooter which reminds a lot of Battlefield 4. It's made by Polish developers and so far what we could see from the trailer is really stunning. Strong gameplay, national armed forces, relocation, full body awareness, weapon and character customization system gives this game something unique. If I'm not wrong, you're gonna have two sides to choose. Poland forces on one side and Russian forces on another. Not sure if later they will add something more but this is quite interesting to see. It's confirmed that game will have hit markers and you're gonna be able to play as infantry or use vehicles and dominate across the maps. I'm expecting to see various amount of realistic weapons which will be able to customize as you want or how developers say without any limitation. So far in games we had a basic customization of weapons and I'm really excited to see how this one is gonna work because every player will get a chance to build his unique weapon and go on the battlefield. Close beta testing is announced for the fall of this year and then we're gonna have more information when the full release is coming out. It's gonna be on the Steam and players can already add it to a wishlist. Anyway, that was pretty much of it for my top 5 list of upcoming games in 2018. Let me know down in comments if I missed something or what is your top 5 list and games that you would like to play. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. However, this like button is there for a reason and if you decide to go for it, leave the feedback and tell me what was wrong and what should I fix so in the future I don't make these mistakes. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you next time. Enjoy guys! Thank you.